Square Green restaurant, one of the first things, one of the first articles that was actually written up on us was an article by uh, Black Enterprise Magazine, this is a magazine that I grew up with. Uh, back at 8, 9, and 10, I decided that I was going to never work for anybody, that I was going to work for myself, I was going to have my own business, that I wasn't going to rely on a pension to actually care for me, that I was going to position myself that I could care for myself regardless of how old until God calls me home. And uh, we got interviews for that and uh, being a green restaurant, and I didn't even know that we were being green. I thought I was just being thrifty and an entrepreneur in reference to developing a business with minimal budget. But the uh, twist on that, I'm green. Make life a little bit easier today. 
And one of the biggest things I think that uh, Terra Cafe has done and that we filled in the gap of is trying to actually share with people about love. We do a, uh, a humanitarian outreach, which is a now program. We feed the homeless. We do about maybe 250 to about 400 meals every second Sunday at 10 o'clock. You know, it never stops. Uh, and we make meals, we actually make those meals, then everybody that participates at that point, we have a Terra Cafe standard breakfast of grits, the fried fish with eggs and orange juice, and then we uh, get the caravan together, we just hit the, we hit the streets of uh, Baltimore here, and uh, share a meal with somebody, and let them know that God does love them, somebody is thinking about them, and somebody does care. A lot of times when we actually walk through the city, we see people that are, you know, they're going through, and uh, we don't think of it that it could be us, it could be us, it could be our kids, it could be our aunt, it could be an uncle, it could be our grandparents. So um, if we learn to love them, then hopefully that if we ever fall down or one of our family members falls down, that uh, somebody would be willing to reach out and uh, lift them up. Uh, one of the other big things that I try to do is I try to actually introduce our kids to something different. One thing with society, they're always talking about how the kids are crazy, they're, they're rebels, this, that, and the other. No, they just don't have any direction. They're kids, you know? There's certain things that are I, I refer to as learning behavior that you have to learn how to be the man. You have to learn how to be a sister. And if you don't have anybody showing you, then what happens is that you pick it up on your own. If, uh, something that I don't know, all right? So we're actually trying to mentor these kids. I get them into work in the restaurant sometimes. Uh, it starts the mentorship program. If they're up to it, you know, it could be some part-time employment with the understanding the most important thing is their education. Money means nothing, all right? Money will come and go, but no one can steal your mind. If you're in the area, if you're in the city, make some time, come by and see us. You can also check us out. Terra Cafe people uh, in Google. Uh, you'll, you'll definitely find a lot of articles that people are uh, kind of happy with the things that we're doing here. And I'm kind of like amazed, and it's not about me. You know, I'm no more than a tool. It's just something that God put me in a position to do, and I'm just staying in my lane and following order. Now, let, me, let me ask you about the food. Crazy. 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 Delicious. Fresh. Right. Clean. The food is amazing. We serve no pork. Everything is like casual gourmet. I have some of the best chefs in town here with an open mind, but the first thing is the consciousness of healthy eating. Uh, everything is, I, I hand pick everything. Nothing comes out of Ziploc bag. It might take a few minutes more for you to get those wings or for you to get that fish, but that's something that we do deserve. Um, society is actually, in our neighborhoods, has actually trained us that you know what? Uh, a chicken box with them western fries that was cooked four hours ago are good. No, they're not good. All right? Cooked in fat. No, it's not good. You need canola oil. You need zero trans fats. You need to eat some baked food. You need to not eat the fries. You need to get the salad sometimes. You need to get a little bit of veggies in your life. And uh, these are some of the things that we're focusing on actually helping uh, people to actually realize what's going on. You know, food is not the same as years ago. Um, one of the things that you know is that you notice how our kids are changing a little bit. It's because all the hormones and everything that they do put in the food. If I put hormones in a chicken to make big chicken breasts, what happens when the kids eat them? They get big chicken breasts. So one of the things is we try to help people to eat as healthy as possible uh, and a great atmosphere as you've seen in the video and the shoots and stuff of that nature. You'll see the ambiance that we've created here. The customer service is off the hook, all right? Uh, if you take, for example, I was on TV with uh, Mayor Sheila Dixon about a year ago. And one of the things that she asked was that uh, dinner for uh, five, all right? Dinner for five at Cheesecake Factory about $150 plus tip. I can, and I might not eat well. And a lot of the food might come out of Ziploc bag that was cooked in Ohio and just put it in the microwave and heat it up here for me. But you come to Terra Cafe, you're gonna get fresh trimmed chicken breasts. You're gonna get fresh baked chicken. Fish that was just battered and fried or baked for you, all right? Veggies that were just sliced and sauteed just right for you, all right? And you're gonna be able to feed a family of five for about 50 or 60 bucks. You know, at $150, that's groceries for a family. 
you know, and in these economic times, you can't afford to waste anything, you know, you can't. And uh, that's some of the concepts that we actually try to teach in that we're trying to learn ourselves here at this point in time. I'm Terrence Dixon, the uh, owner of the Terra Cafe, located at 101 East 25th Street, at the corner of 25th Street in St. Paul, in the heart of Baltimore City. Right Charles Village. Our phone number here is 410-777-5277. That's right, seven completion. Uh, also our website, The Terra Cafe, T-E-R-R-A Cafe. Uh, you can also hit us up on Foursquare, uh, Twitter. Um, what else did they put me on? And Google us.